everyone! Welcome to the very first episode of Very Play. I am. Whoop, let me just hit the. Boop! I'm Cliff and I'm running CC on this bitch. <laughs> Behind me, you can see the very, very talented Sir JB Blanc, who is looking through his. This uh, VR is crap. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, we have Vera Player number one. With How's me, as always, Jack Warren. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And another huge thank you for Warner Brothers Games for sending us this premium edition of Mortal Kombat 11. It is so brutal. Uh, I've sunk my teeth into a, a little bit of it so far, and it is so crazy. <laughs> and uh, we are here with the incomparable. Speaking of Jack brutal Eagle. and crazy. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> Absolutely. So he's an actor, he's a voice actor, he's a voice director. He's got his hands in all these cookie jars. And I'm actually going to start right before we get into this game. I'm going to start off with this segment called Jack Geeks Out, just because I've, <laughs> I've been a part of, I've, I've been all up in the pop culture canon from the get go. So. Everyone we work with, I just go down their IMDb page and I go, oh, oh Wham! And I geek out for a ton of things. <laughs> I so wasn't in Wham. You weren't in Wham? I was not in Wham. <laughs> okay. This it's is not news to us. Good it's to news know. to everyone. <laughs> Wretched. So uh, go, going down your stuff, uh, I have played so much of Wolfenstein 2 and uh, Titanfall 2, and you guys, mm -hmm. you were a huge character in both of those. Uh, well, m more so in Titanfall 2, because you were just in the character's ear, basically. Come on, the cl yeah, c uh, Cuban blisk. You were most evil <laughs> South African bastard. South African, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you were the Tower in Shadow of Mordor, and yes, uh, I was the Tower. <laughs> so brutal. Yes, I did him. <laughs> and they brought you back for war. And uh, did I recorrect? I directed you? both of them. I'm the, I'm, the director, yeah. the voices, voice, voice director, both of them. I'm kind of curious what that's like because, like, that's just like a, a very kind of holy grail of intellectual property. So <laughs> I'm kind of curious what the like what the being on. On one of those projects is like uh, it's a, it's awesome, it's awesome, and it's amazing because they write it so well. Uh, you know, any projects you work mm -hmm. on, whether it's TV or film or, or or games, if the writing's good, you're just like <laughs> you're just salivating as an actor because you just <laughs> want to get into the meat of it. And the orcs, I mean, it's, uh, you know, that was the side of the business that I was directing. They're Wonderful. they're just so much fun because they're so filthy and nasty and dirty and horrible. Yeah, and and uh, and English and and you know, great. And uh, it's just chewy, good material to get into, so it's every day is a dream. Yeah. Not always for the voice actors who are burning out their voices quite a lot on that because it's it's a it's a killer. Oh yeah. But everyone talks like that. No, no, <laughs> you know, they're all really, you know. So I mean, it's, it's a super combative race. Everyone's just like ready to kill each it's other. Very about aggressive. It all yeah. Time. There's not a lot of subtlety going on. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's good. That's why they heard me. Oh, that's wonderful, man. <laughs> I mean, you need that. You need that uh, kind of brutal energy. <coughs> you I'm do. sure what you got made you perfectly cut out for this. That's like, yeah. oh man. Well, we'll see. Uh, you were also in a bunch of uh, Batman properties. Uh, you were Alfred and Beware the Batman. It was indeed. Yeah. Wonderful. And yeah. uh, in the Arkham games, uh, you were you were Bane and Origins, correct? It, I was Bane and Origins. Yeah. Wonderful. And yeah. Uh, I think in Arkham Knight, uh, you were. Just like a whole bunch of different people, right? Yeah, like coroners and cops and weird different things. Yeah, and fire chiefs. You can fire, fire, fire chiefs. Save, fire chiefs who are very guilty because they yeah kill a lot of people and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Every yeah every good guy is like in cahoots with a bad guy. Exactly. So there's like a, a moral yeah. kind of compass yeah, with like everyone. Economies everywhere. Yeah, exactly. And you're also like kind of like the king of these like freemium games right now because uh, you're Brom in League of Legends. I am. Which is right, just because. Hundreds of millions of people play that game globally, so that must be pretty crazy for you, knowing that that many people just know what your voice sounds like. It is very weird, and uh, you know what's great about Brom is that Brom was the champion with a heart, and so uh, you know mm -hmm. he he's one of the ones that just went a little deeper uh, than a lot of the you know a lot of the League of Legends is very declamatory, very kind of you know they they represent a certain sector of their society and they just play. Mm -hmm. Brom had a little bit more to him. And so, and now I'm, you know, directing League of Legends as well. No way! So that's kind of, that's kind of come full circle in itself, which is kind of great. That's incredible. Uh, yeah. And yeah, uh, so, just like right in the freemium train, uh, you're Dr. Vinderman in Fortnite. Which I also voice direct. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, the Save the World campaign, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, I play a, lo a couple of other things in there as well. That's fantastic. Yeah. And uh, for, uh, uh, I know that another game company was just like in the wake of Fortnite success. They rushed out to make Apex Legends, and Indeed. you're a big uh, uh, character in that as I'm well. I'm a big Caustic? poisonous bastard called Caustic on that, yeah. yeah right. Who's a, who's a sort of. 
just poisons everyone with as much gas as he can get his hands on. That's phenomenal. Yeah, he's great. He's fun. And uh, you were Zinyak. More nice guys. What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Uh, other stuff that I've played a ton of. You were Zinyak in Saints Row 4. I, I was. Probably the most I've ever laughed and just like <laughs> raw fun. Just take you, it for what it is. You've got what I need. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're missing <laughs> that, yeah, stuff, exactly. we, that was great because I was working very closely with the writer Steve Jarrett and we, we were just inventing really? stuff in the booth the whole time. That's And incredible. so he was like, I was thinking maybe we could do, you could, you could sing Bismarcky. And I went, yeah, but... Let's do it as an opera. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and he went, yeah. <laughs> let's do that. And so we had a lot of fun doing that. <laughs> That's incredible. And I loved Zinyak because he was, you know, culturally trying to retrain England, uh, the, the, the entire world, in 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 its own culture because it had clearly lost its way. Yeah. And I, I love the idea of an alien life force coming down and saying, you know, Shakespeare really was rather good. I don't know why you're <laughs> ignoring him all of a sudden. No, yeah, <laughs> like a, it's kind of like a Thanosy antihero kind of in a way. Yeah. JB, we it. have our first question. Someone oh. has asked, "What is it like to voice direct a game that you're actually in?" Uh, it's really fairly straightforward, I think, because um, you know when you're directing, you're directing, and when you do your bit, you do your bit. Um, if you if you've done this a long time, you're auditioning all the time, so you're kind of directing yourself for your auditions. Mm -hmm. So you end up being very critical and, and very kind of uh, able to observe yourself as a third party. So so I find directing myself, because I'm deeply critical of myself by nature, <laughs> I find it quite easy and I will, I will try and be careful. But usually there's a writer there who's going to, you know, they kind of direct you when you're in the booth. Do you ever give yourself a line read? <laughs> <laughs> that has just blown my mind. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. That broke the fifth wall. <laughs> right, That's exactly. That How many more walls? <laughs> there, there are 14 in total. No one knows that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Awesome. <laughs> That's cool. Thank so you for the question. So, what do you think, Jack? Sh should we jump into it? I say we shall. I um, think we should. That's what I'm this scared. this channel really is. We actually is just about. picked out our champions. Uh, and uh, this gentleman actually voices Kano. Uh, I don't think we we got to drop uh, that. Everyone that knows that. I don't think that we need to. Everyone know, knows already. <laughs> so, <laughs> Everyone that's tuned in. It's news to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, All right, we're going to jump right in. Here we go. Here's so just a word of advice to the internet. If you're going to do a show about gaming, what you want to do is hire the shittiest gamer <laughs> in the world uh, to play a game <laughs> while he's being interviewed when he doesn't know what any of the buttons do. <laughs> the thing about a lot of us who work in games is we don't get to play games very often because <laughs> it's really hard to find the time. So this is going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. Buckle up, it's going to be a <laughs> It's going to be an experience. Here yeah. we go. Let's hop right yeah. into it. I don't have to listen to myself, do I? Who did you choose, Jack? I, I don't think you have to. Uh, I'm Aaron Black. So am I playing from this side to, to this at, side? To uh, you? At, at, at first, until either you jump over me or I jump over you. Oh, me, I see. Yes, of course, because you can jump. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. I do uh, know what I'm doing. <laughs> just a heads up to no both idea. of you. Yeah, John right. Bailey, the epic voice guy, is online watching at the moment. Hey, John. <laughs> What's up, John? How's it going, man? How's Thanks for tuning in. If you press A, I think we're good to go. You pr I press A. Oh, oh yeah, this, yeah, this is premium I don't edition. Where the buttons are? This is really <laughs> funny. That's it's really so crappy. Um, and you're gonna kick my ass, by the way. Sea of blood. Sea of blood. Well, it'll it looks be, pretty, right? Sea it'll be spectacularly brutal. Sea of blood from Kano. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. I only need one knife to gut you. Exactly. <laughs> I do know that I urinate. Oh, there you see exactly. It. That's right. I yeah. urinate. Every single, every single yeah. fight, he just like finishes. Yeah. He's like, wait a minute. Good day, <laughs> mate. Would you like a bacon, buddy? <laughs> do you wake up looking like that every morning? Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Gotta shave that mustache. Myself my own physique. <laughs> all this, uh, I'm. You know, we have to do not, all that eye makeup. This was all motion capture, believe it or not. This was not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. With gu guns, Ooh, your mother prosthetic Ooh. eye, and all. Oh, wait. The C. Of what? Sea, sea of blood. Sea of oh. blood. Okay, that Whoa. explains <laughs> the demonic starfish. Oh, that, was me. that was you getting me. Oh, a little that. confused. Oh, oh, just went to the dentist. Yeah. <laughs> you can eat some bridge words. Oh, 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 this is what, what this game is made Ooh. for. Baby. Oh, the most oh. brutal stuff. Look oh, away, oh, kids. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> I just grew a gun out of my nose. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh God. See, now that's Damn. accuracy. Oh, that's man. accuracy. Eat your, How did you get to do... Oh, wait your, a minute, I survived. Exactly. This game is... Oh, Jesus. Oh, so you get to do the same. So, like, uh, when you do enough damage, you can just pop bro both triggers and do uh, a fatal blow. Fatal oh, that was it. Oh, oh got it. I got it. So stabby. Oh, oh. stab. Up in knife in the head. Oh, oh. oh. yikes. <laughs> Damn. Oh, goodness. Jeez. I'll get I'll uh, get back up. And there's a knife. <laughs> oh, I'll get back up. Redundancy. Oh. 
just to make sure that Ooh, you're actually... What's that? That's a rat that I just ate. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Gotta just eat it through the ground, pull it out. Round Don't two. even cook it. You want me to heat that up? Oh, I just throw a starfish at you? <laughs> That's not very yeah, the brutal. The starfish are what really are confusing me, if I'm being <laughs> oh, honest. Oh, can I actually pull the a move The crazy off? demonic starfish. Ooh. Oh, just... Oh, ah. yeah. oh, yeah. So, unless you couldn't uh, tell, this is our Studio A here in downtown Los Angeles. We are here at the Verite VoiceOver Studio. If you're just joining us, go to the Verite Entertainment YouTube page and uh, hit subscribe. So oh, join us out when we do more Vera Play. We're here with JB Blanc. Oh, yes! The pause. the pause menu! The oh. most exciting part <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, I'll be impressed with you real quick. I can't part. move! I can't move! Oh, actually, <laughs> it's it's the, the, key to, the key to these moves, yep. uh, they let you do these... Uh, Look, everyone's got a, a as you can a see moves list. If you scroll right over to like a like voice move actor. the stick over Live to like combo actor. attacks and special moves, uh -huh. those are oh, I see. what's on. Uh, right yeah, so yeah, I see. I see. Okay. all these different things. That's like everyone right like looks at these all That's they want, Blanc. but it's all just button mashing yeah. at yeah. the yeah. end of the day. So That'll be you, escape you can this. just uh, be out. Be out. Press B a couple times. Okay. Uh, Back to the action. Our audience loves. The pause screen, but they love it. <laughs> <Right. Game more. laughs> Who doesn't? It? It's beautiful. Uh, it's it gave me a moment's respite so I could stop actually sweating and losing my mind. Again. Comfortably in the game, stay with the grinding noises. I'm voicing my own moves just because I'm old and that feels right. Aaron Black wins. Perfect. <sighs> Final round. Wait, Here we go. Tiebreaker. Final round. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <ooh. laughs> there Jesus, are so you are many sounds. Why are we not recording this? I know. <laughs> it's just hours. They're not very Australian, though, so <laughs> Hours of wallet. Right here. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I'm a terrible oogie <laughs> gamer. It. So big down. shout out to WB Games for giving us this holy crap edition of Mortal Kombat 11. So, so awesome. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, oh, I have to pull up this pause menu just okay. so I can... Uh, pause menu, if, I, if I can pull it That's off. That's it, I'm walking up this stupid down, stuff. Down <laughs> this, is, this is rubbish. It's not even <laughs> fair, if I'm being honest. It's not, because I don't play games. And? Oh, Do we have a oh, fatality? That was it. Oh, no, that was it. Oh, that okay. was it? It was just... Oh, no. I... <laughs> That's it. Oh. Did, did it nail it? He stole your heart. That's what. That's well, what. That's, that's, that's what killed you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the worst kind. Awesome. <laughs> the anti. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> the uncle climate is much more interesting. Oh, absolutely. I went there. Good so JB, going. let yeah. me ask you: Do you have any projects that are coming up that you're excited about? I know that you just told us about a few, but tell us. Uh, I heard that you were playing in a Harry Potter game. Is that accurate? That is correct. I'm I'm Hagrid in, oh. uh, Wiz in Wizards Unite. That's awesome. Oh yeah, yeah. that's their uh, their like Pokemon it's Go the, like AR. AR. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, I did uh, I did the I was in I was in the original Ingress, which was the first sort of AR game that, that uh, Niantic did. Wow. <laughs> it was kind of this the, the guy who founded um, the whole kind of thing, really, a guy called Roland Jarvis, and that was fun because they'd fly you all over the world and you do live events and stuff as the character. That's Amazing. cool. So you had to play it live as well as in voiceover. That's awesome. Um, and then, uh, um, I don't, not much of a Pokemon person, so I, don't, I wasn't anything in Pokemon, but then they, they asked <laughs> me to do this, this uh, the Hagrid for, for the Harry Potter Wizards Unite, and that was tremendous fun. I thought we were going to have Hagrid and Pokemon for a second, the way that conversation That could have worked really exactly. well, yeah. That would have Synergy, been, man. That, <laughs> that would have been quite oh, uh, the episode Harry, of Pokemon. Put that Pikachu down. <laughs> <laughs> you got me doing that. You're a I Pokemon know. master. <laughs> You're a Pokemon master. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. A question from me yes. is, I just found out that you were in Pirates of the Caribbean 3. Which I is was like very briefly. Yeah. One of my <laughs> favorite movies of all time. I love Pirates of the Caribbean. You do a lot of live action. Uh, I do, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, that's how I start. I started as a theater actor. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I did a lot of theater in England. And then I did this movie called The Count of Monte Cristo. And that's why I came to LA yeah. to... You were Luigi. I was Luigi Vampa, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, with a very long wig. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert! Oh, oh, so <laughs> funny. I wasn't bald then, but I am now. Um, <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, and so so I've kept. I've managed to be very lucky and keep the TV thing bubbling. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've been, you know, I've been very lucky. I've been in some really great shows. of you know, Breaking Bad, and um, that's carried Thank on you. as a Better Call Saul. And, yeah, Doctor Goodman. Yeah, it's some of my favorite. It's a strangely named Mexican doctor, Doctor Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Barry Goodman. Yeah, Barry or something, Goodman. you know. Um, 
And uh, and I'm, I've just started doing some little bits in a show called Barry, which I'm very excited about. Yeah, that's, well, that's cool. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah Bill Hader's new show on, yeah. on HBO. The that's character's awesome going to be around a bit, I think. So. Fantastic. And I'm, I'm not sure if you heard, it. but a little news that I got this morning as well, but uh, Love, Death, and Robots got approved for a second season. I heard that, I too. Heard that yeah, too. Very awesome. Yeah. I needed a tiny bit in that, but God, I, well, I was glued to it watching it. It was it's me a too, show. man. It's I cool beautiful. I latched onto it this weekend. Stuff. It's each, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a sci-fi anthology. It's all of, it's phenomenal. Weren't you a voice director on uh, an ep one episode, the no. the Good Hunting one? I don't think I did. I think that uh, that, that was the episode you were in with the uh, the, the creatures that uh, <laughs> like kind of rich yeah. people were poaching. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did just did the little voices in, but I didn't direct it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, no, I think so, yeah. I got another Internet question. had it wrong. Yeah. How do you so prepare <laughs> for a vocally stressful role? If you have a stressful role that you know is going to be hard on the, on the pipes, yeah. how do you prep for that? You do a very, very thorough warm-up. Um, yeah. I, my voice today, for instance, is really shitty because I've been actually been very sick, sick and I've had bronchitis and I'm on steroids right now, which is why I'm really excited <laughs> to be here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <And I> go, <laughs> We all are. Yeah. It's fun. Um, I'm bringing it out. Bring it out. <laughs> um, but uh, so my voice is kind of shitty. But but uh, I, I trained at a, one of those old fancy drama schools, and they 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 teach you. You do a lot of voice work every single day, so you do a lot of exercises, starting very gently. Uh, I think um, the mistake a lot of people is that they warm up too hard too soon. And like everything in life, you should never do it too hard too soon. Mm -hmm. You should start gently, slowly. Mm -hmm. Gentle humming, um, and you you just kind of warm your voice up carefully over time, and it's very easy to tell when actors haven't warmed up. When I'm directing, uh, you can really tell an unwarm voice, and it worries me because you're going to damage yourself. You're going to do yourself a lot of harm. So, um, it's a long, you know, twenty minutes of warming up. Sometimes that happens in the car because it's the only time you can do it. So I get a lot of odd looks on the freeway sometimes, <laughs> and I'm going. Wow! Ah, mm, ah. <laughs> Your Ubers uh, must be voice, so entertaining. Every, <laughs> every voice act. Who told you I still drove for Uber? Nobody. Um, <laughs> and the, 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 I get some very, very interesting looks on the freeway for that sort of stuff. But, but yeah, warming up really thoroughly, um, and uh, you know, all the articulation exercises, all that stuff really helps with with not straining your voice. And then you know, as an actor, you're trained to breathe from down here and not scream off your throat. So you'll see a lot of actors like ah! they kind of ah! losing using a lot of that throat action to to, yeah. to to be aggressive and stuff and and really it has to come from from much lower down and a supported breath and that takes all the pressure off you. Yeah, that's great advice. Nice. There are some video games. There are some roles in video games. Some of the Yorks. It doesn't matter how good you are or how well trained you are. You're still going to get hurt. Yeah. Um, so we just we just when we were directing those sessions, we we tried to make sure that each actor only worked for two hours instead of four, even if mm -hmm. it was a four hour session. And gave them lots of rest, lots of water, lots of tea, um, and and listened out. As soon as I hear a voice cracking, I'm like, "Get out of the booth! You're done." Uh, and the actor will go, "No, I'm still, I'm here to do the job, and I, and I admire that, and that's great, but I'm not going to be responsible for the end of your career." Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> call me old-fashioned, but doing you a favor. Just, that's yeah. a little more than I can handle. Yeah, you know? yeah I mean, it's yeah. kind of funny you say that. The the first of. Uh, voiceover session I was ever in was actually yours for Elder Scrolls oh, yeah. uh, this past uh, November. Oh, yeah. And uh, you were doing a bunch of goblin work. And yes. So I was always curious how that was done, how much they write out for you. Turns out it's not a whole lot. I mean, there's a bunch of like syllables and stuff that's in like the language that they have, but a lot of it uh, was just kind of like, like all you really screaming a lot. And it was a very endurant couple hours, and I was yeah. beyond impressed. So. Thank yeah, no, no, it, it'll you do take that. it out of you. I mean, it is, you know, I mean, it, you know, the thing that drives me cr crazy more than anything else is when people say, do you do any real acting? <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, oh, I, 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 I'll, I'll tell you that, you know, I've done, I've done month, I've done six month runs of Shakespeare on the stage in London. I've worked at the National Theatre for three and a half years. Um, I, I've done long, hard jobs. I've done lots of film and television. I'm, listen, to blow my trumpet, but I will tell you that a video game mm -hmm. acting is as hard as anything else. It is acting yeah. just like anything else. All voice acting is. Mm -hmm. uh, no matter how goofy the voice, if, if the character isn't rooted in some degree of truth and doesn't have the same needs, mm -hmm. desires, and wants that already any of us have, then it's not going to play truthfully. So mm -hmm. um, it's, 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 it is the question that drives me more crazy than anything else because it's just as hard, if not harder. Because you you think about it, you're just reduced to this thing. One here. The, the, that's, the microphone is is going to betray everything because the, the more senses you take away, the more it focuses just on sound. 
And yeah. so you're actually more naked when you're just doing voice acting mm -hmm. Makes sense. than if you've got props and costumes and everything else to help you out. It seems like the imagination is working either way. Oh, yeah. Imagination, that was the word I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'd be dangerous if I had a brain. Should we hop back into the game? I think we should uh, we hop can back indeed. into the game. Uh, I think if you, if you go down to the there. select new fighter, so like new yeah, I think you have mm -hmm. some have questions coming in about Kano. So I think uh, oh, our yeah. audience here wants to know uh, how much beer does he have to drink to pee that much? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> For every time, every time you're psychic. Uh, you I'm going to be Johnny Cage. He kicks people. In, oh, Johnny the Cage. He's, yeah, uh, Johnny he's, Cage. A, he's a fan favorite. Uh, Is there anyone else on this list that we that we work with, Jack? Uh, let's see. Uh, Steve Bloom is Sub-Zero and Baraka. Oh, yeah. I want to be Steve Bloom. Right. I've always wanted to be Steve Bloom. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> either Baraka or Sub-Zero. Where's Baraka? Uh, he's uh, that dude with the giant teeth uh, right, oh, yeah, right next but, to oh. uh, the dude with the hat. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Barack Obama. <laughs> oh. Barack Obama. What kind of, uh, oh, what God, kind so of <laughs> imagination did you have to sort of activate for Kano, JB? Imagination for Kano. Well, you know, they give you loud, abrasive Australian. <laughs> uh, for, for some reason, that just felt right at home for me. Yeah. Um, I've, I've actually spent a lot of time in Australia because I have family in Australia. Really? And so, and I love, I love, I, I've done a few Australian characters. Uh, I did a guy called, there was a, a game called, oh God, what was it called? I did a guy called Griffith Halsey hmm. in a game called, it was a creature hunting game. It began with an E. Someone out there will help me out. Um, I'm so Exodus or something? No, it was it was called Can you find it? Nope. No, great. <laughs> Grip um, palsy. I know, and, I, and then I was I was doing a game called uh, Paragon that, that got cancelled. That was one of Epic Games. It was the Epic it was the co game with Fortnite for Epic Games. Oh gotcha. And I had this character called Drongo who was kind of deeply hyped up and kind of screwed up because he was basically living off nuclear waste. Oh wow. Um, that would, that'll that do would, it. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, yeah. my goodness. Woo. Um, I apologize, by the way, to uh, all the game companies whose games I, I'm going to forget because I am on some serious drugs right now. So that is why my Doctor prescribed. Is, Doctor, Doctor prescribed. prescribed. <laughs> Doctor prescribed. You're also kicking each other in the face. So oh, yeah, exactly. Just I think if you, if you press A, we're, we're going to be in it. All right. Random select um, again. So, Random select. So, yes, yeah. that's why I'm screwing up the names. Um, <laughs> it's all good. But uh, so, so for Kano. Um, you know, you, you look at the physicality, you look at the image of the guy, and you you find the right voice, and you just think, well, I'm just going to play him like a brute. <laughs> um, and the accent helps, helps you get into that. Oh, the yeah. live audience is not here in the room, but I got chills just then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Probably means you're coming down with whatever I have. It's very hard. <laughs> JB came I'm fighting Robert Downey Jr. What happened there? <laughs> <laughs> and how do I say my peas with no lips? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ah. Oh, All right. Oh, and man. we're back in it. Oh, boom, boy. boom. Oh, boy. Yeah. One guy looks like he belongs here, the other guy doesn't. Yeah. That's kind of how it works. I think, like, I think the guy I'm playing is like a Can movie star who kicks everyone in the nuts all the time. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And that's the focus. <laughs> that's that's focus for you, man. Oh, God. Got you. Got, it. got you. The focus. Yoink. The focus is unbelievable. Ooh. <laughs> uh, come on. Yeah. Uh, nice. Uh, Excellent. Oh. <laughs> So you have a lot of friends in Australia, you say? So uh, I have family there. It's family there. Family so there. So my, I have uncles and my grandparents live there. And oh God, I'm talking and dying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole. The Stop whole asking point. questions. The whole point right there. Uh, yeah, so I have family there, and and oh. when I was doing. Oh, have you just? Oh, oh my. Oh, Dang. You get that? This is, just, you, this is brutal. This is too much. That's the closest I'm ever going to get to an Oscar, so I'll take it. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Stab through your back. Come on now. Uh, when I was doing theatre uh, in England, I would, I would, uh, in, in between times, I would backpack. Uh, I love backpacking around the world. I oh. did it a couple of times around Australia. Nice. And um, and mm. that was getting out and really exploring deepest, darkest Australia was one of the greatest pleasures of my life. I can imagine. It's, a, it's an amazing, amazing country, and so I have great affinity for it. Which is slightly helps the fact that I've probably insulted half the nation by. Playing <laughs> I mean, like I, I think it's insulting. I mean, like the, uh, I think it's like a kind of a fact. Most of like the population of that country is just like in. It's super kind of concentrated, just like a few points. Like, yes, I, like, it's, it's just, the coasts, bang. and then in the middle there's just nothing, and you drive <laughs> for days. I've driven across it. You, you know, you drive for days, and you'll see. Trains of camels, you know, like yeah. really? in the middle of the bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and there's no one for miles. There's just termite mounds 
and the biggest skies you've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> and you stay in these kind of bush camps and some bush poet will come out and start telling you stories. And that sounds awesome. It's amazing. And then, you know, the, the night oh. skies are as, as, as amazing as you'll, ooh, I think I just, as you'll oh. find. Oh, man. I just broke your little hat. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, and there's oh. a flag for good measure. <laughs> exactly. Saying I was here. Oh, Do you have a flag? Give me that idiot. Eddie is a bit, yeah, man. <laughs> You have a flag. No flag, no country. No flag, no country. We were here first. <laughs> look at that. Baraka wins. Hey, look win. at that. How about Ooh. that? I was actually going to ask you, like, uh, what, uh, how you got your either training, like, in accents or how you prepare for accents. Like, because uh, you, you've done, like, every form of British accent, like, the kind of Cockney, the British, like, the kind of urban, the, like, Manchester. Yeah, there are certain stuff. ones that don't get chosen. Like, you know, Birmingham isn't very interesting, so people don't do Birmingham very much. Yeah. There's a lot of West Country. A lot We do a lot of that in in, uh, in various games, get have lots of West Country accents. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done a few kind of... Uh, if you're working for Blizzard, you do a lot of Scottish dwarfs, you know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just permanently angry, because I'm very short. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like it. It's the um, story of my life, right? They're all called, yeah. like, Magni Bronze Beard and things like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But uh, I just, I don't know, you know, listen, I grew up, I grew up, are you finishing me or am I finishing you? Uh, I think I'm finishing Son you of real a quick, if can I can. We, can. we can finish each other, it's all good. No, it's not, because he's beating me every time. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Here, here, here it comes. Oh, 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 dear. oh, oh yes, off. I seem to have lost a few. Oh, oh. Wow, well. Nice. Uh, take, take a picture. Take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> got like here. <laughs> that's, what you're doing that's, that's why he's such a good ventriloquist, because he's got no lips. Johnny Cage kind of <laughs> yeah. looks, looks like Oh, him. oh, and a tomato oh, on the no. face. <laughs> that seems unfortunate. That is, that's, well, awesome. that's a little, little sad. Johnny Cage is a bit of a dick. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, what so was I going to say? The accents, yes. I, I grew up in a country where the accent changes every 20 miles. Yeah. Uh -huh. <coughs> and we hear a lot of American stuff on TV, because we, we, a lot of our television is American. Mm -hmm. And I was a musician, I was a singer. I was singing, I think musicality helps <laughs> actors and musicians. Steve Bloom is an amazing guitarist, for instance. Wonderful. Uh, Troy Baker, we know, comes out. Um, so I think you know that having that musical awareness helps you with dialects and, and accents, mm -hmm. and then you've got to have just a kind of curious fascination. You know, it's just fascinating to me the way people talk, the way you know Russians are consumed with the pain of the mother country. So no matter what they're asking you to do, it's very painful. Could you pass the salt, please? <laughs> it's so cold. Why you are doing this? I have to kill you now. <laughs> it's, but it hurts me more than it hurts you. you know, to, um, uh, and. Uh, That's awesome. Uh, it, it, so, so there's just a uh, there's a joy for me in doing it, and I, it's it's always fascinating me. I, I love doing it. Well, it's, it's fantastic because I mean, like, there's a lot of sometimes it's a fine line between all of those ones, and it, like people get like South African and British mi mixed up all and the Australian time. Australian and South African, and yeah, yeah, they're very different. They are very different. So it um, is, so it takes it takes the air. Was was much of that in like your like school teaching or the traveling or is it a bit of both traveling? Or? I think traveling, um, um, having a fascination and an ear for it. Um, they do they do a certain amount of training and you learn phonetics and stuff at drama school. Mm -hmm. um, but I think just you know, being a big kid who likes to play and just yeah. listening to someone and going, oh, that's really interesting. You know the fact that like, you know, a lot of people think everyone in Ireland talks like that, but if you go to Dublin. It's actually, you know, Bono and that, like, they talk like really thick. Yeah. And it's like, that's fucking gear, like, you know, mm -hmm. really right down there, you know, and it's a completely different accent. And then, oh, yeah. you know, Northern Irish is completely different again. <laughs> and that's actually one of the most difficult to do. Because really? it's a completely different accent altogether. That's and it doesn't sound okay. like anything that, that, you know, corresponds to, you know, so. That's it's crazy. the same as, you know, it's the same as, I mean, I, I grew up in Yorkshire, where the, the accent sounds like a wet cloth hitting a street because the weather is damp. <laughs> and then 30 miles up the road is Newcastle, and it's a completely different accent altogether. And oh. some people find that very difficult to understand, like, you know. Uh, it completely changes, and, and it's got this very loopy feel to it. And there's a theory that that's, that's where the Vikings came in, so they had this Nordic influence on the accent. Mm -hmm. And so if you think about Swedish, you have this very kind of bouncy accent. Yeah, yeah. And they, so you have the same <laughs> thing with, the, with this bit of northern accent with a bit of bouncy Swedish. Gotcha. Which we, is fascinating and bizarre, and I, I love that stuff. We have a, another question here from Sir Joe Ferrante. Ooh. It says, can you sing Waltzing Matilda in your favorite accent? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a performing seal. <laughs> 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 Waltzing Matilda. Waltzing Matilda. 
You come a waltzing, Matilda, with me. <laughs> there you go, as as that's, you that's, that's all you get, Joe. I'm sorry. That's all you <laughs> Phenomenal. get. Phenomenal. We're going to be nice. We're going to be nice to JB. Should we, should we hop back in? I don't in? know the words. Yeah. Let's hop yeah. back in another round. <coughs> Why not? Sure. Now, here is the big question. Oh. Who do you think would win in a fight between JB Blanc and Steve Bloom? J.B. Blunk and Steve <laughs> Blum. <Blanc. laughs> I think oh, we should you know find what? out. Here's the thing. I love him so much that I could never fight Steve Blum. <laughs> how, about, how about we He's find out? So friends. I guess it's, uh, I, I guess Steve by default. I have to be Kano. We'll and you have uh, to be oh, Blum. Oh, yeah. That would be good. <laughs> it's Kano, versus, Kano versus Baraka. If, 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 if that's the way you want to go. Does he do go, another one? I guess. If that's he d- he, he's Sub-Zero and Baraka. Oh, so, so uh, he's a, Sub-Zero. Yeah, Sub-Zero's like the main poster boy. So I'll do the Aussie Sub-Zero and Scorpion. Because I love peeing before I do anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> How much beer does... Uh, that's a good question, though, I think. How much beer does Kano have to drink to pee that much before every fight? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Quite a bit. But at least he's going in, you know, nice and... Quite a bit. Yeah. Clear and ready to do it. <laughs> Clear-headed. He's, yeah. he's like a yogi. As long as he's va- evacuated himself. <laughs> he's, ready to, he's ready to play. If you are just tuning in now to our YouTube channel, and be wondering sure... wondering what the hell is going on. <laughs> wondering why we're sitting on a couch with JB. Please uh, just go ahead and drop us a question yeah, down yeah, below in the sand. comments, and we'll see if we can answer you that. you got to piss on sand. It <laughs> absorbs it really beautifully, you know. Oh, this is, this is an awesome location. There he is. No, I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm saying it. I'm <laughs> chilly, mate. Here we go. Sub Zero. You're going to drink yeah. that pee. Named after a fridge, will you? Here we go. Take a load of this. Oh. Oh, oh, right. oh, man. Wow, man. Steve hey, this, froze, is, yeah. this game is a. F- I, I'm it's cold. Oh, damn. God, I'm bad. Oh, oh my God, I'm so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <I'm- laughs> oh, my goodness. Once again, a big shout out to WBD. Steve Bloom just got the combos. That's yeah. Combo C. Thank you to WB Games for giving us this exclusive edition of Mortal Kombat 11. Oh, Thank oh, you so much. I think I just got you. So <laughs> I we think I'm, oh, enjoy this. Oh, oh brutality, dude. I think I'm okay. Terrible I think I'm okay. I, I, I think I'm okay. I love that. I'm after the throat there, mate. You're not yeah. only kicking a knife into his chest, but your your shoe knife. Yes, I have a knife shoe. into the chest. Shoe, shoe knife, knife wow. into my throat, shoe knife man. Into my throat. Oh. <laughs> what was the Bond film with the girl, the woman, the old lady who had the shoe knife? Oh. Is it Diamonds oh, of Forever? I think it's Diamonds of Forever. I think it was, yeah. <laughs> Round two. Here we go. This guy looks, Kano looks like the ultimate, like, bar fighter. Well, this, oh, is, man. Like, <laughs> this is something I was going to introduce, and the fact that I was uh, sent an article from a, a, a very popular gay publication. No way. That said that they are convinced that Kano has become this incredible gay icon. Really? Well, yes, in fact, one of the, <laughs> one of the comments was, I swear to God, I saw this guy down on the jackhammer last Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> Which I took as a huge compliment, because I think, you know, yes. why not? That's fantastic. Oh, wow, man. you just iced me in so many ways. Literally. <laughs> I'm not taking this shit you anymore. Guys. There you go, I'm going to do you. Kano wins. Kano wins. <laughs> gotta eat a lizard. I gotta eat the rat. <clears throat> gotta eat Need some protein. Eat the rat. Yeah. He's got green <laughs> blood for some reason. Need that protein. It's like a cross oh, between... I don't like your freezy stuff. Jackman and... <laughs> and freezy stuff seems unfair. Someone Ooh. else. Wearing cargo pants. That's what it looks yeah. like to me. The ultimate gladiator stage. <laughs> right? My goodness. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll love that move. Missing I don't know what that like, move was, but it was great. I'll never reproduce it. Hit us with a comment it. down below <laughs> if you want to ask a question to JB, JW, or myself. Why not? I'll answer a question. CT. CC. CT. Yeah, that's how it goes. Oh, CCTV. <laughs> Kano's got the rolls. Oh, oh, oh my God! God he's oh, see, so you got him backed in a corner. Now oh, that's not even fair. Get out! Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Nice. put that one. <laughs> Two can play in that game, sir. Now you're just showing up. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Jesus. It takes a lot of energy to do this, doesn't it? It does. It's a little yes. bit. Yeah. Who would have thought that video games was a calorie burning exercise? <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good little bulky these days. Here we go. Finish oh, him. oh man, on. it's time. See if I can refrigerate him. Can Refri- <laughs> yeah, re- refrigerate him. Stick man. him in the that fridge. Like, okay. <laughs> Humiliation. Humiliation. Oh, oh, oh I'm feeling oh, woozy. Oh, oh dang. Dang. Oh, the block oh. That'll do oh. it. I'm as cold as ice. <laughs> and he's got his head chopped <laughs> off. Man. Okay. The Han no. Solo treatment, only slightly worse. Oh, oh. dang. And that was li- Still liquid blood inside the frozen head. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a design flaw, I don't know. <laughs> design fatality, yes, I would say so. Yeah, There's not much coming back from that. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my goodness, that's so amazing. Oh, that was man. fun. <laughs> 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 Just, no. 
Hey, so, Steve, you won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Decisively. Decisively. Is there a particularly um, most challenging project you've been a part of? And then conversely, a most rewarding? Mm, or are they one and the same? That's yeah, not no, at all. I mean, I think, I think you know, uh, the Shadow of War, Shadow of Mordor combo mm -hmm. of directing and playing a lot of orcs, and then, you know, doing some mocap as well. That was a lot. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. oh, you, you guys did all the mocap, like full. I like, did the mocap the for the tower, season. yeah. That's fantastic. Um, yeah. And I've, I've done quite a bit of mocap mo mo on Uncharted games and stuff with people like the dreadful, dreadful, and frankly, completely untalented Nolan North. <laughs> <coughs> I, was, I mean, God knows. I, I think, honestly, I'm largely responsible for his career. Um, <laughs> but uh, but so, so th that's kind of fun. I mean, I, I, I enjoy having different hats. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I like the fact that my life is, I'm very lucky, it's wild and varied and, and, and interesting and I'm always doing different stuff and so, yeah. so I'm, I'm, I'm extremely lucky in that and so the whole thing is kind of a challenge because it's often I get up in the morning I'm like, what am I doing today? <laughs> uh, and that might be just if I'm, because I direct uh, for Blizzard now with Andrea Toyos. Wonderful. And mm -hmm. so it could be Overwatch, it could be WoW, it could be Hearthstone, it could be like Heroes of the Storm, it yeah. could be, who knows? And so... That usually keeps you awake. You I can know, imagine. It's yeah. probably like an identity crisis, it's, like it's, every day, <laughs> every, single, every single day. Who am yeah. I supposed to yeah. be right yeah, now? Yeah, you forget. How do I actually sound when I speak? That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <no>, gone. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll just come back to me at some point. Gary Oldman actually said that losing your accent is an occupational hazard. Yeah. Really, yeah. <laughs> Believe it. Yeah, and he's he's interesting because he'll bleed sometimes, you know. And I've directed. I actually directed him. Oh wow! Um, Who I? I Gary a game Oldman. called Lego Dimensions. Is his? Uh, he is, was the lead villain. Is his chameleon voice as as the same as his chameleon face? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> and also, I mean, he was. You know, there. Are, you know, sometimes you work with stars who are a little tricky, uh, or look down <laughs> yeah. on voice as not really as as, as kind of great as other stuff. Seems very political, and Death and Earth. <laughs> yeah, you know, but I, to me now, Gary Oldman is my gold banner standard. So, mm -hmm. oh, man. if you can behave like Gary Oldman behaved, if, or if Gary Oldman can behave like Gary Oldman behaved, then there's no one else has any excuses. Gotcha. So Gary walks in and was like, uh, and I was like, oh, I'm your director, and I feel like a fool saying it. And he's like, No, no, don't be like that. No, we're gonna work together. So tell me, what do you need? Anything you want? <laughs> I was like, he couldn't be nicer. He couldn't be more helpful. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. And, and then the other thing was that he had to play this character that was way over the top, moustache twirly villain and awesome. chewing the scenery left, right and centre. <laughs> he couldn't do enough. There was no, there was no subtle method acting going on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, was, it was all fantastic and gigantic and he just committed 150% and was wow. brilliant and a dream to work with. Wow. So he's so cool. now my kind of, you know, if you're, a, if you're an A-lister, and I think he is, he should be in the oh, world yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, forget mm -hmm. about um, it. You've, you, you, you've got to be as nice as Gary. Got it. Because uh -huh. nice. if Gary can do it, anyone can. Is there anyone that you haven't worked with that you'd want to? Oh, God. Yeah, a million people. <laughs> You're like, I'll just start the yeah. list right now. Everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I run into Mark Hamill all the time in studios, and, and we, we have a, I know him and we chat, but I, but I would mm -hmm. love to do something with him. Nice. Um, because I, just, I think he's a genius. Um, but yeah, there's, tons, I mean, there's tons of actors. I've, I've been very lucky, you know, on camera, I've managed to work with some of the, some of the great actors. and, and mm -hmm. In, in theatre in London, I was, I was able to work with some amazing people. Um, so I've been lucky, but you know, you, your favourite person to work with is the next person you're working with. And I think if you go in with that attitude, then you're going to have a good, good time. That's hopefully. well said. Well said. Wonderful. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah. I have another question here from Jeff Burns for JB. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> what is the most rewarding thing about teaching or coaching whenever you get the chance to do so? When I get to teach and coach you, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> he was fishing with that question. That's <laughs> what he was doing. He's like, I just, I just want to shout out right now. <laughs> you know, when you do this stuff for a living and you're doing it, you kind of, you know, you, you can get on the treadmill and you can plug in, plug out, and you're in one black, you're in one, you're going, moving from one black box to another, and mm -hmm. you don't really have a concept of, of what what you're do, how you, how what you're doing ends up out mm -hmm. in the world mm -hmm. if you're not a big gamer. Um, or you you know you don't have time to watch a lot of animational stuff. Mm -hmm. um, when I started teaching, I started realizing that I knew what I was doing, and I didn't really know that I knew what I was doing until people were asking me, "How do I do this?" And I hadn't really sort of broken it down. And so, the rewarding aspect is when people just go, oh, "You've just changed my whole approach to how you know." It's amazing how we can 
you can see performances, you, mm -hmm. you understand nominally how they're put together, but actually what's going on is, is completely different to how you th thought it was being put together. And so, mm -hmm. and so these revelations where people go, God, I've never thought of it in that way before. And when you can impart that to someone and they have this little revolution and suddenly you just see this switch go off and they go, I've got it. Mm -hmm. And then they just produce something brilliant. And that's mm -hmm. incredibly rewarding because it's all about unlocking the talent in people. And th mm -hmm. that's what directing is about. And as a director, it's my job almost to know more about what that actor is capable of than they do. Mm -hmm. Because then they're going to stretch themselves and they're going to do they're going to push themselves and do something really special. And, some, and I've experienced this myself, you know, a good director has dragged something out of me that I didn't know I was capable of doing. Wow. And those moments for both actor and director are magical. That's when, you, that's when something incredibly unique and special kicks off. And I think that's where a lot of great performances come out, you know, come out from. I think, I think um, it's an intimidating thing to do for a living when you start and you think in terms of your limitations. Well, I can't, do, or I wish I could do that, or I wish I could be as good as, as, as you know, Troy is at that, or, or Travis is at that, or, you know, mm. Steve Bloom is at that. All these same names keep coming up. God, <laughs> someone, can we get someone else get some work? Um, you know, like J.B. Blanc, I hear he's very good. Um, <laughs> he's all right. But, uh, but, <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> um, but, but, and you think, of, you think of your limitations, and actually, mm. through practice and through working with good directors, you get stretched, and when you get stretched, People talk about being stretched as an actor. When you get mm -hmm. stretched, that's when you're in the, the kind of deep doo-doo land where you don't quite know what you're doing, but it's, it's coming out really well, and you're, you're, th you're just throwing stuff out there and experimenting with a director, and it's, it's on, like with Zinyak and on Steve Jarrett. We didn't know what, how it was going to end up. We didn't know what's, what's, what we were doing, really. We were mm -hmm. just kind of throwing stuff out there, and, and if it was making us laugh, then we were going with that. Mm -hmm. And it's dangerous, and it's freeing, and it's and y you don't know what the limitations are because you haven't set yourself any. It's kind yeah. of like playtime. It's proper playtime. It's and, it's, and it feels kind of yeah, it feels fun to do. So, you know, I you, like I won't say you necessarily, Jeff, but a lot of people approach a microphone with a degree of reserve. It's an intimidating thing. Mm -hmm. I say, screw that, burst through that. Um, I say this. I've said this a lot in interviews. <clears throat> as a director, if you come with a load of stuff, if you come with energy and some choices, and that's fantastic, because I can pull that down and I can mold that. If you come in with fear and intimidation and I can't do this, or I haven't really made any choices, or I'm not approaching it with some energy, it's really hard for me to drag that performance out of you. Yeah. And so too much is always fine. and and. I think it's hard for people to feel that brave. Um, but when you unlock that in an actor, uh, particularly in teaching situations, I teach classes and stuff, um, I kind of guess teach at different classes, um, watching that happen in an actor and, and them realizing that they can actually be a lot freer than they thought they could, and that that's where experimentation happens and that's where the good stuff comes from, mm -hmm. that's exciting. Awesome. God, I, that was a long-winded answer. <laughs> That's all right. Jeff, great one. Uh, up, fantastic one. That was in, incredibly insightful. Thank Jeff you so has, much. Jeff uh, has responded to that. He oh, said, dear. He, he said, says, you're I, full of crap. <laughs> <laughs> he actually said, I had you and uh, Keith Farley back to back. That was a magical two weeks of eye-opening learning about yeah. video game VO, and thank you. Well, bless your heart, Jeff, man. Very Good awesome. You. Good luck to you. So, so cool. Um, all right, so we have about 15 more minutes. What do you think? Another round? Sure, got, why not? Yeah, let's do it. Let's I'm do it. Doctor, now, I think I've, I've, you've kicked me in every single one. <laughs> yeah, I think I've chopped off. We've, sure, we've, I mean, we've chopped off probably what I, what I, well, The reason they said, come here and, and, and enjoy and a bit of ritual humiliation. That's like a. That's what, exactly what it's been. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Well, you, you've been—you're you're the one with all the insight, though, that you've been giving us. I've just—I've uh, <laughs> yeah. just, I've just been button mashing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me too, but you've just been button mashing much more successfully than I. Those have. controllers <laughs> actually aren't even on. You just been watching. <laughs> <them. laughs> <laughs> 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 well, that's the what demo I was trying to go. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait a minute. How does this thing work? This VR sucks. <laughs> oh my goodness! How do you do? Uh, like, <laughs> oh, do, 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 do I do rematch? Oh yeah. no, it's all good. Uh, oh, go on. So how did it work? There's a question. There's a glass of water. Renee some popcorn. Actually, uh, throw popcorn <laughs> at the camera. There we go. Renee asked, uh, uh, "How do you do uh, 
everything like succinct for a game like Mortal mm -hmm. Kombat. For a game like this, mm -hmm. how is it? Uh, how difficult is it to stretch yourself for games like this? Yeah, difficult because because. You, 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 it's, it's, this is a very set programmed uh, game. It's completely different to any other game. Mm -hmm. In that uh, you, you come in and there's a set format. There's a greeting, there's a, there's a, there's a fight line, there's a, there are a couple of attack lines, and then there's a, a parting shot. Mm -hmm. And so it is a very staged format. Um, there's, a, there's, you know, there's, there's subtle variations you can provide within that because there are, you know, English is an incredibly nuanced language. Mm -hmm. And it, it, you can say a sentence a million different ways. But... The format of this is a bit more restrictive, mm -hmm. but if the characters, you know, <clears throat> it's a different genre. Yeah, there are games where you waffle on endlessly about stuff, and there are games where you don't. There are games where one line. But League of Legends is very similar. Mm -hmm. You have an, a greeting line, an attack line, and a departure line, or a kill line, and you're off. A um, laugh, a dance, and then yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's on. And that's, yeah, <laughs> and then, and then you, you know. <laughs> Fortnite is whole storylines and characters interacting, and I love directing that because I get to read the other characters with the actor in the booth, and we have a great time doing it. We're rewriting it always on the fly. We're, I work with people who are very generous in, if you think of something funny, let's just do, you know, rewrite it, let's figure mm. something else out. Mm. Uh, and it's much more collaborative, and that, I, I enjoy that aspect. So, you know, it's just, it's, it, sometimes restriction can be liberating. Oh, yeah. So if yeah. you have a framework, you can. It, it, you're playing in a smaller playground, but you're finding a lot more material. Sometimes so. restrictions can force you to like think outside the box and be more creative. You know yeah, I mean? mm -hmm. it's like being tied up during sex. Exactly. <laughs> that's, 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 that's exactly right. Yeah, similar thing. <laughs> yeah, I'll no, probably not have said that, should I? <laughs> no, no, okay. No, you definitely it's should. PG-13. We're not like showing <laughs> it or anything. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> Let's hop into it. Who are we going to play as this time? No, oh, right. uh, have I chosen? I could be. Kari Walgren, I could, uh, be, I could be you. That's a good uh, one. I could be you. I How about you do you. that and then uh, J Jack... I'm going to be Jax Briggs. Look at him. <laughs> oh, Jax Briggs. Jax Briggs. I'm going to be you. Amazing. You got a seagull. All right. So we have one Kano. Yeah. Nice. War hero. Jax Briggs. Where are we going to play? Uh, <coughs> do get random, random select. select. Shang Tsung's Island Ruins. <laughs> Beautiful. That was what I would have chosen mm -hmm. too. Renee asked, uh, "How does it feel uh, being a sex symbol, Kano?" <laughs> <laughs> Fucking great. You left to oh, ask him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me goes. while I take a piss on the yeah, floor. There he goes again. Because uh, that's sexy. Good old oh, Kano. Oh dear! Now look at this. Here we go, round I'm one. About to get brutal. Um, Damn. It, it, uh, it's very flattering to be uh, to be a sex symbol, and uh, the fact that Kano's a gay sex symbol. I mean, it would make sense, really, because look at him. He's Bare chested with leather straps all over him and leather pants and oh of course and he you know smells his armpits and scratches his crotch and pees it, everywhere yeah no, no, I no, mean no. what gay man wouldn't want the fact that he was <laughs> <laughs> irresistible oh, no That's doubt funny. there are people who go to like blazing saddles dressed like him like <laughs> probably yeah. Yeah. sit around fireplaces and fart <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That's really funny. Come on, oh, dude. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yoink. Oh! oh, 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 oh. See, JB is getting significantly better. Yoink. Oh, my God. Oh, I think you just vomited blood all over. Watch the shirt. Oh, oh wow. And a Damn. shot. And you're still standing. And I've still got flaming arms. Look oh. at that. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh and my neck. That'll Spinal hurt. crackage. That'll hurt the vertebrae. That'll hurt tomorrow. Ooh. Oh, yoink. Is that that's you? A little, Does this even out? Oh, Does this like, even out? Oh, how have we managed to do that? This... This is just a Wait ridiculous a second. kill. I was doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> this is a ridiculous the game, the game, the game Kano wins. Yeah. This is such a. This is awkward. Kano wins, but Kano didn't win. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know <laughs> anymore. It's fixed. This whole damn. Don't come as a guest on this show. They just humiliate you and fix. They fix it and make you seem like you're really shit at game. Oh, I don't know that I am really. Now, Jack, you're, you're a super fan. Do you have like a favorite like JB voice? Um. <laughs> like a favorite JB. Uh, honestly, I gotta say it's Zenyak. <laughs> I, I probably spend the most uh, time uh, with. Do you me? Hello, human. Incredible. You know what oh, I do? You know what I get a lot is because it was part of that. We decided that I should read. Oh, the whole. Dang. Finish oh, him. Yeah, no, you finishing me oh, yet I again. Can. If, I can, if I can. There goes the <laughs> yeah. oh, That's um, it's okay. <laughs> They asked me today. We, we read the first chapter of Pride and Prejudice as Zinyak. And what? he was doing all the character voices. Do you get to that bit in the game? Okay. <laughs> Down there. Yeah. Boom! Yeah. And so I get a lot of requests saying, Would you please do audiobooks as, as Zinyak? As Zinyak? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love that. Kano is dancing with his opponent. 
that with, a, with a broken a bottle in his throat. Broken bottle in his throat because that's how we solve problems. <laughs> Another yeah, fan writes: Do you ever wish games were recorded ensemble more often? Uh, sometimes, and and you know during cutscenes, I think it's, it works really well. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it's completely impractical to do it with in, with game scripts because. You know, you you could be doing the same lines to multiple different characters, or uh, or there could be any number of other ways that it works. Um, animation is great fun, and being on on a, a, lo a long running animated show like I was all, all Hell King Julian for a long time, yeah, mm. that's a tremendous amount of fun because you've never met a more inventive bunch of people in a room. It's it's intimidating, it's it's um, scary, and it's endlessly entertaining. And he, I left every session in pain from laughing. Um, <laughs> awesome. and, and thinking, what am I doing in here with Jeff Bennett and Maurice LaMarche and uh, Maurice LaMarche and, and um, Danny Jacobs and uh, you know, Kevin Michael Richardson and all these fiercely talented yeah. people. It's, it's scary, mm -hmm. but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. So, so we do it in games when we can. Um, I, I like doing it when we can. I, we did. I did it for Lego. Uh, some of the Lego Batman Beyond Gotham. I did a, mm -hmm. a group session on that. Um, but in most games, it's not practical. Mm. So, gotcha. Uh, yeah. I have a question <laughs> for you, JB. <coughs> excuse me. Better than men. Yeah. I got a question really for you, am. JB. Yeah. Which do you prefer? Do you like live action more, or do you like VO? I love it all, mate. Well, of course, it's all acting. I all comes all. from the yeah. same place. Yeah. I love it all. I. I it's. You know what's nice about the the voiceover side of things, and I've said this before, and I think a lot of the voice actors have. It's a community. It's mm -hmm. it's, you know, people on camera can be a little paranoid. It's a bit scary to be constantly worried about how you look and whether you're right for a part, and just in terms of your look. And the competition is a bit more fierce. Mm -hmm. Whereas my competitors are my best friends. <laughs> you know, Fred Fred Tanishaw and I go up for a lot of stuff together, and I couldn't mm -hmm. be happier when he gets it, and he's the same with me. Although he says that, <laughs> I think he probably wants to knife me in the face. <laughs> He's very like that, Fred. Not one of the nastiest people in the business. You <laughs> Steer clear. <laughs> Steer clear. Shade the first. nicest guy in the world ever. Um, <laughs> but 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 that, that it's mutually supportive. We all know how hard it is, and we and we gun, we gun for each other. We we look after each other. We root for each other. We want each other to be successful. Mm -hmm. That is a really refreshing, nice aspect of the voice side of the business. Mm -hmm. So in terms of life, the voice side is great. Um, on camera stuff is brutal. There's a lot of damn fine actors who quit because it's it's brutal and it's mm. and it's judgmental and it's you need a tough, thick skin. Uh, and I've been at it a long time and I've never really had a long run on a show. You know, maybe that's mm. going to happen with Barry. I don't know. Yeah. But it's that uncertainty. You just you know, you're throwing your cards out there and you see what comes. Um, mm -hmm. the, the 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 reason I'm very grateful for the voice stuff and the voice direction stuff is it's made me have to worry about on camera less. So I'm a little more I'm a little more confident when I go into meetings. It feels like it's not going to be the be all and end all of my life because I have all this other stuff going on, which has given me that security. Gotcha. Which is uh, a huge relief, and uh, you know, for many many years I didn't have that. Okay. So um, I only started doing voiceover when I moved to LA. Uh, I was about 32, okay. and that's when I started doing that side of things. So, you know, it's been a new aspect of my career, which I've really loved. Gotcha. My yeah. last question. Yes. Do you do you study your lines for VO? Do I study my lines for VO? Yeah, yeah. How? <laughs> I get the script the second I walk in the booth. Yeah, exactly. I go study lines, you're joking. Yeah. Even when I'm directing stuff, I don't get the script in advance. Yeah. Often yeah. I just I turn up in the morning, I get a cup of coffee and the script, and we go, okay, all right, we've got this, that, and that to get through. Okay, there's the basic journey of the cow. Okay, let's go. <laughs> do, you find, do you find that that helps, like that, that freedom in the booth that you're talking about? You have to make it, you have to, if this is the most Californian thing I'll say all day, but you have to make that your friend. Okay. <laughs> make the total lack of preparation your friend. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was incredible. It, it kind of is, you know, it, it, because it, there is something liberating about that, and you do have to, but you have to have the confidence to know that you've, you've built up all these instincts over the years to be able mm. to do that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that takes, you know, balls sometimes. Um, Mojo. You, you, it's in you. And if you have a director worth their salt, they're going to help you get there. So you, 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 intimidation restricts you. Fear is the killer. Fear stops mm -hmm. you being creative and, and, being, and producing good work. Mm -hmm. Fear is the thing that will destroy your career quicker than anything else. Makes sense. Arrogance is probably number two. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> fear, fear is the killer. And so... You've got partners. You've 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 already been cast in the role. <laughs> They're on your side. Mm -hmm. um, 
I had to do something recently for Elder Scrolls where I sung. I had to sing all these songs. I was there for that session, yeah. That was the those, were, those were tough... <laughs> Those were tough songs too. It was intimidating, and they were weird, folky, bizarre songs with weird <laughs> lyrics. <laughs> Something like super atonal. Very atonal. Like, like, magical and, land. And <laughs> I had to approach it without fear. Mm -hmm. uh, that was hard because <laughs> I was <laughs> frightened. Yep. Um, fear is the thing that will stop you doing anything else. And you have to remember, you, you, you've got collaborators. You've got writers in there, producers. They've cast you. They want you to do it. The director is your best friend. He's probably got, you know, mm -hmm. hopefully he or she has got more information than you have. Mm. Um, but you. you you're in a team, and you you know everyone wants it to succeed. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing that I you know, I think sometimes when when and I probably suffered a bit from this when I first started as well as you work with that director that you want to work with, and you think I've got to try and impress them. Mm -hmm. You really mustn't try and impress them because the the only way you're going to impress them is by doing the job they've hired you for really really well. Mm -hmm. They don't need to see your myriad of accents or voices or how clever you are. <coughs> there are a lot of really clever people in this business. Yeah. So if you if you can commit to the character that you're playing and do it 110%, I will want to work with you again. If you're malleable and you're working with me and you're, you know, that's that's what creates a good relationship, a good working relationship and will make me remember you. I think there's a lot of, you know, young actors come in and, and they think I've got to I've got to show that I can I've got I get emails all the time saying I have 95 character voices. <laughs> I'm like, well, the fact that you're counting them tells me you're on the wrong track anyway. <laughs> because I don't know how many character voices I've got. I've probably played 500 characters, but I, you know, some of them had similar voices, yeah, some of them didn't. Mm -hmm. but you're approaching it for the wrong time. It's not about the voice, the, the wrong mm -hmm. way. It's not about the voice. It's about the acting. It's about the role. It's about playing the truth of the character. Yeah. Do you hear so, that, Gary Oldman? Yeah. Do you hear Gary Oldman? <laughs> Damn you, Gary Oldman! <laughs> JB remembers the 110 percenters. Some people say Newman. I say Oldman. Oldman. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, JB, who would you like? to see on the couch here at Veriplay. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness me. That's right. Fred Tattashaw. Fred Tattashaw. Fred Tattashaw. Yeah. All, right. All right. Do you hear that, Fred? We yeah. have a challenge. The challenge. The gauntlet you. is down, Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll do that. I can't wait. Oh, I'll be happy to do it. That's my, fr <laughs> that's my, fr my Fred Tattashaw impression. No, I'll, I'll be allowed. No, I'll, 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 I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll come on the show. Why don't you just have me on? Yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say. We don't even need to have Fred on. I'm so much cheaper than he is. See? I'm so much cheaper than he is. Watch out, Fred. Watch out, Fred. <laughs> I that. Dude, That's thank amazing. you so much for your insight and uh, have mojo. Keep it in check. Uh, keep your approach good. Be malleable. Be uh, don't be an robust. asshole. Yeah, don't be an asshole. Don't be an ass. <laughs> we'll show too many of them already. Exactly. Yeah. Some of them are running the country. Just to, you know, we don't need it. Just mm -hmm. be nice. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. <laughs> be nice and work hard. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're going to end that episode of Vera Play here. A very, very, very special mm -hmm. thank you to Sir J.B. Blanc. And as always, <laughs> Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I got knighted. In the course of this thing, Take I got knighted. Mom and dad. He has been knighted. He, I want to say thank you guys very much for having me. This was a lot of fun. Our much pleasure. more than I expected it to be. I mean, our JB, pleasure, man. Th thanks for being our first thank guest. You. This yeah. is a very, very new thing that we're doing. So it's fun. Yeah. It's awesome. It it's great. awesome. Thank yeah. you. Of course, of Cast course. And thank you guys for watching, yes. commenting, participating. Be sure to subscribe, you know, do the whole social media following thing so you're in the loop when we keep on doing this. All that jazz. The next person's going to be so much more fun than I was, so you should tune in. <laughs> That's actually fun. Yeah, uh, the next person that we have is uh, July on um, July 10th. Because we're not uh, going to be doing a thing next week for you know independence and all that. Oh, all of course, that jazz. It's that. Yeah, so the, you know that that old chestnut. It's, well, it's, <laughs> it's Independence Day, which we English people call. We're very busy in Australia. We're going to let you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, <laughs> <That's> whatever. <laughs> if you know your history. Yeah. <laughs> wink, wink. That's amazing. But on July 10th, we're going to have Deborah Wilson here. Oh my goodness yeah. me! So that'll that'll be quite a ride. That's going to be fun. That'll be <laughs> yeah, that'll totally. be a good time. <laughs> a special thank you again to JB. Special thank you again to Jack Warren and. And that is where we're going to end it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for Vera playing with us, everybody. Bye -bye. Much love.